Here's how to create a PayPal account. So first you're gonna to go to paypal.com or the link in the description down below, and then you're going to go to sign up here in the upper right. Once you sign up, you can decide whether or not you're signing up for a personal account or for a business account. So select the one that applies to you. In this case, we'll just do a personal account. On the next page, you'll just enter in the email that you want to use for this PayPal account. And then to verify your account, you're gonna to have to enter in your phone number. So once you put in your phone number, it's probably going to text you to verify and then follow along the next steps of the signup process. So once you verify your phone number, then it's gonna have you create a password. You have to use between eight and 20 characters and also two of the following. So you have to have letters, numbers, symbols, at least two of those. And then once you've created your password, now you put in your personal info. So it's gonna be street address as well as your legal first name and last name. Now, after you've done that, you've created your account. You can shop and earn rewards with PayPal, send money or get paid by receiving money and also just browse around. And so it's gonna ask you, which way do you wanna get started with PayPal? I'm gonna go ahead and click browse and see if it just takes us to our dashboard, uh, but we'll kind of find out here in a sec. So it wants us to link a card and it might actually have you do this no matter what option you click. Uh, you actually don't need to right now. You can create an account and go to your dashboard without linking any type of payment method or bank account yet. Uh, once you do that, you'll be able to actually add money to your account and use it to pay for other things. Uh, but you can always click this not now button down here. And that'll take you on to the next page where it has you create a username. You don't have to do this yet, and it's actually a paypal.me link. We don't need to do this. We can just actually click not now. Most things in this process you can skip if you want to and you know, want to come back later once you learn more about what each thing is. The last part of that step is to verify your email. And then once you do that, it's going to take you to your PayPal dashboard, and you officially have a PayPal account. Um, it's pretty easy, but you do have to enter in some of that personal information to really get verified. And that's it. That's how you can create a PayPal account.